John Sugg, I'm the 12th Judicial District Attorney, that's Lincoln and Otero Counties. Uh, I think that uh, everybody in the room has gone through different generational things in school. Mine was stop, drop, and roll and fire alarms, and my kids are going through training on how to deal with an active shooter. And I think that's one of the significant things that as a father and as a husband who, with a wife that works in the school system, it's troubling. And we have this small tool, as District Attorney Torres was talking about, this petty misdemeanor uh, that we can charge sometimes when someone threatens a mass shooting like at a school. The problem is our Court of Appeals recently struck down a conviction out of my judicial district out of school threats that happened in Capitan, New Mexico. They found that we had to show specific intent that the child wanted to disrupt the school process, not just that he wanted to create terror for everybody. And that's troubling, and this bill will fix that issue. This will give us a tool so that we're able to deal with these mass threats, There's, you know, after Columbine, nobody can ignore a threat of a mass shooting. It just can't happen. And there's significant resources that are expended when we respond to these. And one of the good parts about this bill is not only will it punish the criminal, but it will also hold them financially responsible. They'll be responsible for the costs that are incurred by the municipalities, the counties, the law enforcement agencies for having to respond to these threats. And if they follow through with these threats, we'll actually be able to have some teeth and holding them accountable with some of the legislation with this enhancement, the firearm enhancement, actually having a real penalty to it. What distinguishes this bill and why I support this bill more so than I have other bills that have been proposed in the legislative sessions is that this actually targets those who commit crimes with guns, not just gun ownership. This is not just a blanket, uh, guns are bad so therefore nobody should have guns. This is if you use a crime and you are proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, that you discharge that firearm during the commission of a, 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 a violent felony, you're going to be held accountable and you're actually going to have to go to prison. Uh, that's been missing. We can have different types of legislation that tries to limit gun ownership or possession, but until we actually start targeting the people who are using guns to commit crimes, we're not going to see a difference. And when you have a system in the state where we don't really punish people for being a felon in possession, and we don't really punish people adequately for using firearms during the commission of a crime, you start to see what you're seeing here in Bernalillo County. You start to see a mother of some state police officers getting killed while she's apparently going to the gym in the morning. Something has to happen in New Mexico. Something has to change. And it's up to the legislature and, and for the people to hold the legislature responsible for the bills that they either act on or don't act on. And this will finally give us some of the tools that we need to get some of these violent offenders off the streets. Thank you.